Hey guys, okay, so today I want to talk to you guys about the New Age movement. Um, now, uh, a lot of pastors these days are uh, preaching that we don't need God. That uh, the strength that we experience comes from ourselves. And um, when in case, uh, when in fact it comes from uh, God. Um, they are teaching that um, if you think positive enough, we can magically make things happen. Now listen. First of all, magic is bad, and the second of all, <clears throat> we're not powerful. We're not little gods, okay? We can't magically make things happen. And these pastors, some of these pastors today, today want, they want us to think that way. And and when they are sharing this new age stuff, you know what they're doing? They're leading people down this dark path. They're leading people right to the devil, and the devil himself does not want us near God. He doesn't want us living for God. He doesn't want us doing God's will. He doesn't want us knowing God's love, okay? The, the devil doesn't want us to know what true living really is, okay? And this New Age movement, okay? It is about thinking positive. Thinking that you have the power within you. That you can make things happen, okay? That if you think hard enough, you you will have a good day. If you think hard enough, everything will happen for you for the good. But you know what? That is not the case. God didn't say, hey, follow me and everything will be perfect. He did not say that. And he's, he's the same. And things will never change. He, it will always be the same. He never said, come follow me and things will be perfect. He never said, accept Jesus Christ into your heart and things will be perfect. He never said that. And he never will say that. Okay? He never said, hey, I am God, and so are you. He never said that. Okay? He will never say that. It will never change. His word will never change. The devil will try to use this New Age movement to keep people from God, to pull people from God, to pull you down that dark path where the devil is waiting for you. He wants as many souls as he can to bring to hell because he's jealous of God. Because he wants to be God. Okay? So he's going to try to take your soul, take this soul, take that soul. He's trying to do whatever he can. He's trying to do and say whatever he can to, to take you away from God. Because he is jealous of God. And you know what? In some cases the devil wins. Because a lot of people don't know the truth. Okay? But you know what? If you realize what is what is happening in your life, if you realize that you were involved in this New Age stuff, if you realize that the devil is doing this to you, you need to spend time with the Lord. You need to rededicate your life to the Lord. And the devil will flee. Okay? This New Age stuff is of the devil. It is evil. It is witchcraft. It's nasty. It's nasty stuff. It is not of God. It's not biblical. It's not from God's word. It has nothing to do with living for God. It has nothing to do with doing the will of God. Okay? This stuff that these, some of these pastors are teaching, they know what they're doing is wrong. Some of them may not know what they're doing is wrong, but most of them do. And you know what? Part of it is because they want money. Some of this is because of money. They, they tickle your ear. They say what you want to hear. And then they lure you in and make you feel that you're loved by them. And that the only thing God wants for you is a perfect life. And then they say, oh, well, if you give us money, then God will bless you. And God will make you rich. And that's what, what matters to God is that you have a perfect life. And you can become rich and famous and have all these earthly things. But you know what? That's a lie. That is a complete lie. God never promised a perfect life. He didn't say, come follow me and you will have a smooth sailing. He never said, follow me and you will have a perfect life. He never said that. And he never will say that. We do not have the power. The only true power comes from God. Only from God. Okay? The strength that we have to walk each day, to use our muscles, 
to work, to breathe, it comes from God. He could easily take all that from us. We do not have the power. Okay, we are not little gods. We do not magically make things happen. Now, you can make a choice in life. There are choices, okay? There is free will, okay? You can make a choice to make a horrible decision, and then there's consequences. That does happen. Or you can decide to make the right decision in life. And it may come out as you get persecuted from others, or it may turn out that you don't get persecuted. It may turn out okay. But that's normal. That does happen. But if you think that you're a little god, that you have the power within you, that you think you can just magically make things happen, that you don't need God's help, you are sadly mistaken and you are being misled and the devil has got you in his hand. He has got you in his grip. And I'm telling you right now, you need to rebuke that devil in Jesus' name because he's leading you down, he's leading you down that dark path. You know, in the end, in the end, God will rule. He will, God will never die. God will never go away. His love will never go away. God is waiting for you. God is waiting for you. And he will always wait for you. He's giving you so many chances. And he will keep waiting for you. But don't wait till it's too late. Don't wait until it's too late. Because there is a heaven and there is a hell, okay? And God doesn't want you in hell. He doesn't put people in hell. We put ourselves in hell. Okay, and get that, we need to get that straight right then, right here. He doesn't put us in hell. We choose to go to hell, okay? See, our sins, our sin separates us from God, okay? And God can't be around sin. And God knew that we could never be perfect. He knew that we could never be perfect and, and completely stop sinning. And so he made a way for us to be near him, a way for us to be in heaven. He made that way. And that way is his son, Jesus Christ. And he, Jesus Christ died on the cross, literally died. He died on that cross, and he paid the penalty for our sins. He made a way for us to be near God and to be in heaven towards the end, okay? So Jesus is that way. See, you understand now? God doesn't want us in hell, okay? He doesn't condemn people to hell. Now, I know I'm talking about the New Age stuff, but you know what? I, feel, I think I need to talk about this, too. Now, I'm going to go back to the New Age subject, but this, this whole thing has got to stop. It's got to stop. It is misleading thousands of people. It is leading them down. I know I'm not going to name off the pastors and some of the women who are misleading these people, but um, I think that's for you to find out. I think that's for you to maybe go on YouTube or ask around. You know, I am going to name one. Joel Olstein. Joel Olstein. Oh, he's famous, right? Yeah. He does not teach from the Bible. He does not teach God's Word. You know, he teaches. He teaches that we have the power within us. He teaches that we don't need God and that God promised a perfect life. He's lying. He is absolutely lying. He's full of the devil himself. He's absolutely lying. And his wife is doing it too. And I'm telling you, I'm telling you, you need to stop watching that man. He is misleading people. If you sit there and you carefully listen to what he's saying, if you ask God to help you discern, you will see for yourself that he is one of those new age movement pastors. He is misleading people. And it's not just him. There are women out there doing it. There are men out there doing it. And there are people out there doing it that don't even know they're doing it because they are, have become misled. And all this has got to stop. It has got to stop. The devil is using this new age movement to keep people away from God. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely he is. And this is going to be the end of the video. Okay, um, I love you guys, and um, I hope that you enjoyed this video and that you understood everything I was saying, because I know I was talking kind of fast. Um, my next video is probably going to be on something similar, but not exactly the same subject. But um, if you guys want to comment, go ahead, subscribe, do your thing, okay? But I love you guys, and have a good day.